that members of Congress are supposed to be elected representatives of the people. And the polls show that the people are tired of this war and that 55% oppose uh, a troop increase. Only 27% support the president's handling of the war in Iraq. So are you flying in the face of what your uh, uh, constituents want you to do when it comes to Iraq? You know, I have a very personal reading on this, as you remember, Norma, <laughs> because I went through this. And you still made it, right? <laughs> yeah, and I, I think the fact that I got elected, you could interpret it many ways. But obviously, the majority of uh, Democrats who came out in the primary were prepared to deny me nomination based, I would say, almost entirely on my position on the Iraq war. But when it came uh, to the general election, uh, Democrats, Republicans, and Independents said, um, <clears throat> this is more complicated than that. Uh, Joe's doing a good job overall. Let's give him a chance to, to continue to be our senator in our interest. I think the public uh, is obviously frustrated, disappointed, angry about the lack of success in Iraq. So am I. But I think most people in this country are not prepared for failure because they know the consequences of failure could be really bad for us. Secondly, well, I, I believe I've got a responsibility in matters like this national security to do what I think is right and sometimes yes to well, fly in the face of public opinion. Well, Senator you have broken with your former party the Democratic Party specifically on the Iraq war. There have been questions. Can you rule out uh, that you may switch to the Republican Party? I wouldn't rule it out, but it's certainly not my intention. It's not my desire. You know, what would I'm, cause I, you to switch to the Republican well, Party? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to set any conditions, but you know my real hope here is to stay and fight for the kind of Democratic Party I joined when John F. Kennedy was president, which was progressive on domestic policy and very strong and muscular on foreign and defense policy. I think but, Senator, arguably war, there's I mean, not one Democratic presidential candidate that is uh, espousing that particular position, right? Uh, so far, right. I mean, obviously, it'll be more than Iraq. It'll be how, how do they feel about Iran and the rest of the threats that we face. But look, the central challenge to our security in our time is from radical Islam, the people who attacked us on 9-11. And, and to be as direct as I can be, Nora, in, in this question of who I will support for president, I, I'm going to wait until both parties have their nominees, and I'm going to support the candidate that I think is best for our country, regardless of party. And obviously, the positions that they take on the war on terrorism will be very important to me. And, Senator, I think you've made some news here today, not ruling out a switch to the Republican Party, and also, I think, indicating that you may also endorse a Republican candidate for president. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Nora.